I am Kayla. Please like and subscribe. Welcome back to another Crypto Bros. And a Holly Girl. Podcast number 1411. I mean, 41. You know, I that don't... happens, Greg. Sometimes people screw up and say the wrong number. Yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Speaking of the look on people's faces. <laughs> 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 Why do you mean? Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's start it right there, Holly. Let's go. Oh, sure. <laughs> that is how we started that podcast. So we're starting this one with the same oh, yeah. thing. Yeah, family, we had to. Oh, oh. Hey, man. Officially, raise your hand if you screwed up the counting channel. I have. See, See all of us. You're not alone. Yeah. Family. Yours is just funny because <laughs> you did it the day you were going on chaotic exposure. Yeah, but so. has done it more than once. Raise your hand. <laughs> oh. Just once for me. Okay. But now I don't go back. I'm afraid, I'm just, I'm like, afraid I'm to touch to it channel. now. That's yeah. why I haven't messed up. Right. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, maybe I should not go back into the counting game because. I will say, I though, the most know. spectacular mess up goes to Holly. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. it was like not a car even. crash with fire right off yeah. a cliff type stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. Both time, I feel like both times, though, because like the first time I did it, I was only off by one number. Granted, I was being talk to while trying oh to figure gosh. out what number was <laughs> Neil. Um, oh. but the fact that I tried to yes. edit it was like yeah, yeah. that was, that was so funny <laughs> that was so funny <laughs> I think I was like oh, that's, that's not gonna work <laughs> that's <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah. and Good then try. the second time I wasn't only off by like one or two I was off by like 38 yeah, yeah not even <laughs> close like, and yeah. it was an all time yeah. high it's stressful yeah. isn't it yeah yeah. Yeah. I feel so bad. People when I can't. Did me. Caleb had to fix it. Yeah. Like, people it can't appreciate the, the like the the. Sorry about my dogs. They get excited, um, but they like the the amount of the feeling you get in the gut of your stomach when yeah. you see that red X because everyone's gonna see it. <laughs> it's like son of a. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. The worst feeling. You're just like. Uh, and seriously, what goes through my mind immediately is like, okay, where's the edit button? And so totally. then it just- You just want to sweep it under a rug. Yeah. No, yeah. nothing to see here. Oh, yeah. 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 I put it's, the X, turned my computer off and went outside like that was going to fix it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. When I came no. back, there was hell to pay. So. I freaked out. My <laughs> wife was like, what's wrong? Yeah. I'm like, I yeah. can't tell you. <laughs> no, All and right. then again, when Whiskey finds out that you messed up, oh. <laughs> it yeah. is like, I feel like I'm in trouble. Like totally. I need to go hide in a corner. Yeah, it's, it's you, funny. They know instantly. Yeah, I think it was Dragon. He was like, "Oh, yeah." Like, like instantly. Like, oh. He just says, "Don't, <laughs> no. don't look at the counting channel," and yeah. then everybody knows. Oh yeah. Shame. Well, before we go any further, let's introduce our guest for the people that may not know who yeah. this person is. It uh, Neil is joining us today. Uh, Neil is uh, part of the Chaotic Exposure Team uh, podcast that we dearly love. Yes. Um, he is also part of Defi Elitism. And maybe right now at this moment, most famously known as a misfit community member. That's how we got to know Neil. Yeah. But yes. no, AKA family. fake Greg. Fake Greg. That's what? what I thought you were gonna introduce me. I was <laughs> gonna. Fake Greg, fake Here's the thing, man. You are a good dude. And I just love giving you a hard time. I don't know yeah. what it is about it, but it's kind of like my relationship with Greg. We just like. Yeah. <laughs> well, they call me fake Neil too, so. Yeah. <laughs> I get it all the off time. Camera, fake At least it's a two-way street. <laughs> it is. It goes both ways. So before we go any further, thank you very much for coming on. We do appreciate you having uh, having you on, and we got some pretty good questions for you, um, I all think, right. and we'll yeah. turn it into a good conversation. But before we go any further, we're going to change some stuff up. So we've been talking and we listen to the community and we get DMs and people um, graciously comment on what they think that is going good with the podcast, mm -hmm. things that maybe we can work on. And we're always trying to tweak things a little bit. So mm -hmm. one of the things that we've got for oh, several weeks now is people think that the podcast may be a little too long. And I can't get behind that. I mean, we've had some 
two hour and 15 minute <laughs> podcast <laughs> before. Yeah, we had a six hour one. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was a little different and there was alcohol involved, but <laughs> That's it was true. fun. Um, but at the same time, so what we've decided to try this week is we are going to film our podcast. Um, we will have a little bit of crypto talk and then we're gonna interview uh, Neil. Then we're, that's gonna be it. Then we're gonna separately film Caleb's Choice, Holativity, and this week, Truth or Dare, and those will come out at separate times. Mm -hmm. So that will allow us to limit how many minutes the podcast are mm -hmm. without missing out on some of the fun things that we get to do with our guests, but also allow us to get things out on time. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. last week's, <clears throat> we couldn't even get it out on Friday because it was such a huge file. Um, this way, things can hit you guys. HD should be very consistent around 6 p.m. Central on Fridays. And then Holativity will come out on Sundays, kind of like how we had broke it down before, but it'll be a brand new segment. It, but it'll come out that week. And then Caleb's Choice will come out on Mondays. And then you'll have either Truth or Dare or the Taste Test come out on Tuesdays. Um, still, at least most of the time, we'll have the guests involved in those segments. But we're just going to break it up a little bit and see how that works for the yeah. next couple of weeks. So. If you are watching this and you kind of step away and you come back and like it's over already or why is this one so short? That's why. It's not <laughs> because we hate Neil. It's not we because we cut it. it off short. I mean, that might happen, <laughs> but you just never can tell. So. All he started yelling at us so we cut it short. So because I'm excited to get to talk to Neil about some stuff, and uh, oh I'm gonna try to be nice, man. I, I, I promise <laughs> you, I'm gonna try. try to be. You will be. Oh, I don't yeah. know. It's so hard. Oh, it just really is. Yeah, but one. we wanted to get in a little bit of crypto <laughs> news uh, before we got to that part. And so there's, we had Mindy on last week, and I thought she shared some pretty good insights on some things that were going on with uh, the Grove Coin um, in the future and how that looks and answered some pretty good questions about just different things. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, I would advise you if you have questions about it to see. I thought she answered a lot of good things. Not all of them easy. Um, but she went into some things we didn't even ask that was really informational. Absolutely, yeah. very yeah, absolutely. So. so very easy to talk to. Um, but then they came out this week and said that uh, they are going to, they're looking to back Grove by gold. Um, what that exactly looks like, I don't think anybody really knows, but anybody that knows anything about economics knows that the US dollar used to be backed by gold. And at that time, we were probably at our strongest when it came to economy. Mm -hmm. And then we got off the gold standard and, well, we're 31 point some trillion dollars in debt and <laughs> the debt ceiling keeps raising yeah. and all this stuff that we're not going to get into today. Yeah, okay? no, we might uh, it's stuff that I nerd out <laughs> on and I research all the time, but I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. So that'll be very interesting because as far as I know, this will be the first time somebody's done this. Um, like I said, we don't really know all the details yet, but I would keep an eye out for that to see what that turns out to be. Whether it is a good thing or a bad thing, it is very intriguing to me it's on different. to see, how, yeah, see how this plays yeah. out. Mm -hmm. um, quickly, one of the arguments that I saw for it was that gold itself raises in value. Mm -hmm. So if, even if nothing happened, if the token was backed by, or the coin, <clears throat> sorry, was backed by gold, then it had a chance to elevate in. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. love Neil. <laughs> it's just uh, exit. Well, where would he go? <laughs> He's like, I can't. No, I can't be part of this but anymore. It, but it has a, it has an opportunity for it to go up without yeah. any activity because of what's backing it. Yeah. Sure. And I was going to say, there's. A, I know a lot of people personally that don't like crypto and they want their gold or silver. Yeah. And they won't listen to me about crypto because it's fake. Right. Because it's just a fantasy mm -hmm. world. But that with something with crypto being backed by gold, that gives those people who are yeah. all about the hard assets, mm -hmm. you know, something, oh, hey, crypto and gold. So that opens a door. Yeah, so we'll have to see how mm -hmm. that goes. And we'll definitely be talking about it in the future. Um, it's a project that we've had many on twice. Um, it's one that I feel like we kind of know the ins and outs of, um, not just because of the guests that we've had on, but the research that we've done with it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very curious to see how that turns out. So. <laughs> Moving on from there, this is kind of more of a teaser, but today, lots of rumors that SafeMoon may be releasing something, whether that's like a video, maybe that's an educational thing, maybe it's an update on Oval Shield, maybe it's a product, we don't know. But um, keep your eyes out. 
Keep your I'll just tell you what I think. I think we're going to hear something from them within the next 48 hours. We'll see yeah. what that is. Like, I have so no I on, idea. Go ahead. I was on a space earlier today, um, and like everybody speaking was like, a little birdie told me, a little birdie told me. So I'm going to say it too. A little birdie told me within the next 48 <laughs> hours, we will um, find out what they're going to be dropping. Um, the there was also a tweet. tell you what it was? A little birdie on Twitter. I cannot say. Um, however, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they, if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, I suggest you do so because that will be where the information is provided. Hmm. So, okay. yeah. I mean, so they also, Satan retweeted something too. Yeah. It wasn't just. Yeah, right. about the NFT marketplace. Yeah. It's not. So, mm, no. yeah, it's not just pure <laughs> speculation. There's something happening out there that we should find out shortly. And with our luck, it's happening as we record. Oh. You know, that's just usually what. <laughs> no, it's not that yet because, in all honesty, as we're recording, like my Twitter is on. Especially because every time we record, it feels like Safe Moon is about to drop something, yeah, yeah. and so I'm like, okay, we're gonna actually like get it right here, and I can say it on the podcast, but. That has yet to happen, so. Well, I will tell you, my phone is blowing up over here because Caleb hit Greg with a chair earlier today, yeah. and so I've been oh, yeah. getting all yeah. these notifications it's, it's all about about people <laughs> talking about that. So, but no, keep yeah, your that was keep like your my eyes favorite video of the day. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, oh, wow. I don't know. I'll take that. <laughs> yes, I'm glad that made you smile. Yeah. <laughs> I said, make somebody smile today. Hey, that did, did it. With that violence. Did it. I'll use violence. my body yeah. to make somebody smile. Sometimes you can make people smile with violence. Yeah. Who knew? It's true. Yeah. Man. As long as they're smiling. Caleb's going to bring more violence into the world now. All right. Woohoo. Yeah. Hit me See, anytime. He's all about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, real quick. Um, we are, so we're probably going to have a guest on next week, Revoltance. And I just wanted to put a little update out there that they actually met their pre sale. Um, mm -hmm. Their, their value so because i think they were shooting for 800 bmb so i'm not so. something yeah. around there um but they they met it i think it was yesterday and so now we prepared to go live um but yeah they you know they reached out today somebody's under the weather and said that you know next week they can come on and it probably will be a very exciting um launch honestly because it just all depends on where they're launching from and something tells me it might be on Safe Moon Swap, but you know, they've been they've been hinting heavily yeah. on the fact. That <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's exciting. You don't have to be awesome at charades to figure I, that one out. I don't think. <laughs> we'll totally, see. Uh, I would totally hint something else and then be something else. You would. You would just throw everybody off the track and then nobody would know it launched. Yeah. It'd be a Poor Holly last place. week on. Oh man, I'm sorry, Holly. I I did that wow. a couple times to you. Just like. Well, building a moment just to ask you the most ridiculous question. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and Neil did that a couple That's times. I was like, oh, this is a good question. And then it go like hard left. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I'm like, wait, what? Sorry. But you know what's what? hilarious about that? As I was listening to it, I knew exactly what was getting ready to happen. Like, Here it comes. Here it comes. Yeah. <laughs> I did not expect that, but. Yeah. <laughs> I've had so much fun. <laughs> Phil loves it. Yeah. So I get it. So the other thing <laughs> I was going to talk about just real fast too is it's not a secret that the three of us love to play poker. Um, Neil likes to play poker. Um, we have been following a, a project for over a year now mm -hmm. uh, called Polker, P-O-L-K-E-R, which is a NFT um well, they launched it, and it's a platform where you play poker, and you can win keys and shards to mint NFTs. It's kind of a play-to-earn type deal. It just launched. If you don't know anything about it, if you like poker, just go check it out. It may not be your cup of tea, but it's something different that we haven't seen out there in the space. It's a video game. Yeah, it really built, is. Built off, which people know, Unreal, the Unreal Engine. Yeah, it's part of the deal. reason it... It, it oh, yeah. didn't launch when it was supposed to was they came out with what the unreal engine five five yeah and it, and was, it on was on four so they waited and then they ended up launching it on five so yeah. the graphics are actually really cool the gameplay is pretty good um i think i i was part of the early beta testing it's come a long way since then so if that's something that you're into check it out just because it's different it's not yeah 
it's not even close to being a copycat of anything else we've seen out mm-hmm. there. And it may be something that perks your interest. And from time to time, we want to tell you guys about projects like that that maybe you haven't heard about before. Occasionally, we'll retreat, we right. t- retweet something fr- from them so that you can kind of see it. It's easier to get to. Um, right. But, yeah, check it out. See what, see what that's all about. So mm-hmm. but that's it for the Crypto Talk as of right now. So we're going to get right into Fake Greg's interview. And uh, Neil, tell us just a little bit about yourself and kind of what you're what you're involved in at the moment. Yeah, yeah. So um, definitely am involved in the Web three world. I, I, it was a very natural place for me to come because my real life is probably just as busy as Web three is, um, and I I thrive in that. I, I like how every day feels like a week. I've, I've been living that way for ten oh. years. Only spent ten days in a coma over it, but that's a different story oh, um, <laughs> um yeah uh, no, no, no. i just pushed it too hard and yeah. ended up kind of almost dying um oh. but uh you know i was involved in the cryptocurrency side of things for a really long time um and was with a safe moon partner project that's no longer around um and kind of that didn't end the way i wanted it to I, i'll say that much um and kind of got into a quiet spot for a little while and took a long break uh, my kids are being really loud i'm just gonna mute for two seconds <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, i love it no, i don't know i'm just trying to figure out why you unmuted yourself or why you needed yeah, to we want to i know but he wants to hear that okay you know what i got i got four kids yeah, it gets rowdy gonna, over here. They're going to burst in and hit you with a chair. <laughs> what did you say? Yeah. Right. Do it. Um, no, but but I, I found uh, an NFT project that was just a safe harbor for a good while. The Misfits, I I am kind of a... There are people out there that are much bigger whales, but I am on, in the top five of holders um, and, and just love the NFT project a ton. Uh, they're, they're my crew, and I've been with them as a community member for a long time now. Um, and anyway, so I, I went, I went, I kind of started finding my voice again uh, through those friendships. I also, uh, for a little while, decided to. I was on, and this was talked about, and I can't talk about this, but I was with the Mooniesins for a little while. That's an anti project about to get started, and. Um, before Christmas, I made a change because I saw my very good friend slash community member friend in the Misfits, Chris Vaughn, uh, just could use some support. Um, and the Mooniesins have a stack team, love all of them, and they didn't need me and what I do. And so um, as much, they would disagree with that, but- I would but disagree they, with that too, but- <laughs> they, they, they have such a stack team that they, they like, I, they, there was a lot of things I can do that they didn't need me to do. And, and, um, Megatron is someone I've, I've followed around from a few projects and he uh, he always really challenged me to step up and and, and it was kind of uh, honestly he didn't he didn't know he would do this but he actually is a big part of the reason why I made the decision because I knew that that it would be something he would do for similar reasons um, and so moved over to Chris Vaughn I'm with him his team as kind of the brand's community manager you know um, I do a lot uh, there's a lot that I do in his team but so that's kind of who I am. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. But that's a pretty good fit with you and Chris, too. Um, you yeah. know, I, I was able to catch you guys uh, on a YouTube podcast. Was that yesterday or two days ago? I don't remember when it was. But the way that you guys interact, you can tell that each one of you um, is all in and that you have a ton of respect for him and he has a ton of respect for you. So it seems like a really, really good fit for you yeah. in, in, in his project. So uh, best of luck with that, you know, for sure. And, and to see where that goes, because how new is that? That's yeah, it's, it's not, yeah. not very long, right? It hasn't been on a ton of time. Um, so Chris is both a developer and an artist. Mm-hmm. Um, every website, smart contract, minting dap, everything. <laughs> he literally coded the whole thing. Um, and uh, no, 
Sorry. Yeah, I was, gonna, oh, I was literally going to say she's talking to you, Caleb. <laughs> but you already knew. <laughs> Quit barking, Caleb. Um, oh, yeah, kids in, in one room and dogs in another. Uh, I know. Yeah, pretty like, soon the train's going to go by here, so yeah. it's all good. I know. <laughs> family um yeah, <laughs> yes. you know it's a lot he does a lot of work and so um i'm able to kind of take some of the things off of his shoulders that was weighing him down like getting all the socials together and being present and being active and looking like you're doing things because if you're just a dev and an artist you could be very busy and no one know it mm-hmm. you know yeah. and so it's been out for a little while but but we're really starting to bring the attention and awareness to it um which is fun though because that means a lot of this real stuff has been built um quietly you know yeah um and so yeah yeah Yeah, it's kind of been cool i just accidentally kind of got in when it was really new and have seen it progress and heard you were going to be on that team and thought oh that's probably really cool too so i'm excited about it man i can't wait to see it see how it turned out um actually through a i don't remember poker tournament or something somehow i won one of his yeah. uh defy elitisms and wow. uh, got one of his source codes too so yeah um, it's really cool and yeah. gonna definitely check that out and see how that turns out but did you cheat yeah. to win maybe okay so i didn't th- i didn't think you won Probably. their surprise so a couple second. times a couple <laughs> times i was gonna say too on that note <laughs> You know, listening to Chris and hearing him talk in spaces and in the Misfits community, um, I really like him. I really like his vision. I really like his drive. I just don't like him as a poker player. Yeah. uh, (laughs) Because every once in a while, I'll be like, just when I think I got him hammered down, he does something. And I'm like, well, thanks for taking half my chips, Chris. (laughs) Now I say that in in, in just in a good He's really good. But yeah. and I actually heard him say, not to get too far off topic, in that YouTube podcast you guys did, um, and I can't remember the name of it, so you can throw the name of it out there if you want. I'm not, I'm not skipping over it on purpose. Yeah. If you, you remember the name Chakra. of Chakra? Yes, there you go. Yeah. But I actually heard him say that he used to play poker for a living, and now that makes a yeah. lot of sense. So, Dude, it's so stupid. And, and, and we could talk about Chris all, all our, our podcast. Um, honestly, like, Again, oh, no, I, Neil, I think, well, you're not going to get off the hook that easy, my friend. Uh, but like, he, he, like if you Google Chris Vaughn, mm-hmm. you can do this. You'll see YouTube videos come up with like thousands of views. He's a really well-known DJ in Portugal. Yep. He's a coder. He's an artist. He's got art installations. And he's played poker professionally. Just stupid. Like, hey, cut me some slack. Can I get an ounce of what you have, yeah. please? Yeah. Like, Do you have to be good at everything? Can you yeah, share yeah, yeah. some talents? I know. Come on, man. I know. But no, I, yeah, and he is a good guy. And, I, and we wish him yeah. all the success in the world. And, and, and we say this to um, people we care about, but I don't know what this looks like. But if you guys ever need anything, by all means, reach out. Definitely. You know, we'll, we'll be there for you where we can. You know, so. Definitely. But I have to I have to touch on a couple things. Um, oh boy, we are huge. <laughs> That's not even a big enough word. I am just not good enough with the English language to come up with another word. But huge, huge fans of your guys' podcast, Chaotic Exposure. Oh, yeah. So yes. the the small yes. tribute started with the fireball, and then we actually got a mug, and all three um, mm-hmm. yeah, all three of us did. But I'm the only one cool enough to show it off. Um, I use mine. And mine's then we a, actually a um, put you guys in our Truth or Dare segment. There you go. Right there. here. Cheers. <laughs> uh, but we are huge fans of what you guys do. And I heard on, you just had Holly on yep. Tuesday, I think it was. Yep. Yep. And I heard you guys say in that podcast that, uh, you know, competition and people talk about that. And you guys, your philosophy, and correct me if I misspeak here, Neil, but your guys' philosophy matches up so well with ours that mm-hmm. it's not about competition. It's about helping good people succeed where they can. And yeah. if you have not checked out the Chaotic Exposure podcast, you've got, yeah. we'll put a link to this video below. You got to go check it out. They're on all the major podcast venues. It's not video. The exception though. of one. 
because they're just the worst platform in the world. I'm Apple pretty sure I know which one you're talking oh. about. No. <laughs> what, what did you say? Say it out loud. Apple's, <laughs> Apple just won't yes. get their selves wow, together. Are yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I, well, I thought it's kind of a pain. We it's a huge it. pain. Process. Yeah. yeah. We don't say this out loud most of the time, but you can find us on all those platforms too. Just the <laughs> just the audio part of it. Except Apple. Except Apple. <laughs> and there's a reason why. You know. Yeah. But it's uh, frustrating. But why didn't I know about this? About I thought we were just on YouTube. No. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, hey, then Holly, you haven't on... looked at all the links on the YouTube video. <laughs> I'm. I'm this is terrible. I did not know this. Can you edit this I'm out? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm a little bit embarrassed. Let's, I'm going to take this a little bit different direction since you said that too. All right, so I got to tell you guys a funny story. <laughs> Speaking of NFTs, so a long time ago when we were recording like intros and things like this, we put out five audio NFTs of Caleb <laughs> Caleb bloopers trying to say like from the beginning. Behind Caleb, my back. Caleb, please like and subscribe. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, yeah. all of a sudden, <laughs> I have this really, Does really good friend. This? No, this is why I'm telling the story. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So Sorry, I have this really, really good friend that comes to me and says, "I need you to help me buy ETH," and I said, "Okay, why?" He goes, "Well, I want to buy an NFT." So okay, cool. So we were doing this yesterday, <laughs> and I was like, "What NFT?" Because he's not really an NFT guy, right? Just new into the crypto space altogether, but he loves it and he's all in. And he says, well, go to OpenSea. And he goes to this website and it's this old <laughs> NFT that we minted that we <laughs> thought we shut oh, down. And yeah, I told you we did. So it's not on the I website, didn't. but the link still works in the YouTube yeah, videos. Yeah. I was like, dude, it's not really for sale. Like it was just a joke and you know. <laughs> but it really is for sale. Yeah, and he bought yeah, it. Yeah. So, <laughs> did yeah, he buy it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> But he's such That's a good supporter of the show. Yeah. Uh, he's awesome. been there through thick and thin. He's bought merch. He's He listens to literally every single thing we put out. And I've known him since eighth grade. And so kudos to you. I won't say his name out loud just in case he doesn't want me to, but kudos to you for that. <laughs> but on that, Neil, uh, sorry I got distracted because that happens. No, it's good. <laughs> on that, though, tell us a little bit about Chaotic Exposure. So we talk about it, but we don't really get into yeah. the details of it. For anybody that hasn't seen it. Yeah, really? I'll, oh, I'll give you Holly the origin Carter. story. And I have a question. Holly. Okay. Yes. okay, so <laughs> along those lines, I want you to go into how and how you guys started this, because I, yeah. I don't know, and I, I'm intrigued. Yeah, yeah, so I'll give you kind of my origin in the podcast origin. I'll give you more than you asked for. Um, unless it goes, just shut me down if you need me to stop talking. Um, <laughs> That's what I do on but, uh, <laughs> Wow. For me, the, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, you know, for me, this space is about people. It's a technology bridging digital to the real world, right? Mm -hmm. um, and, and so I've been dedicated for a long time uh, to tell people stories in the space um the one of the really cool things about web3 is if you have enough courage to step up and, and try you can do find you can find incredible things to do um and my wife we, we have this conversation like neil none of this is real you're not doing anything i roll like she rolls her eyes when i say i'm doing this thing or that because like it's not that that's not you're not it's not real. It's like, well, no, it's not real. I can't wait to show you when it's real, you know, because like, right. if you're willing, you can find yourself in rooms that are just amazing. You can build things, you can help build things, you can do so much. And that I actually started a show called Breaking the Ice in DeFi uh, for a little while. It was kind of shorter lived than I intended it to be. But I've interviewed people like you guys have interviewed cats, you know, Gotti, um, Brian and and and, uh, and um, he's on Revoltance now. Um, oh, gosh, Shane. Um, yeah, and, and I've gotten to just interview some incredible people and, and tell their stories. And, and 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 their focus was always about, tell me about you. How did you find the space? You know, hearing cats talk about how he worked around the firewall to mine Bitcoin at high school. Yeah. Like anybody, yes. can, you know what I mean? Great like story. It's great a great story. story. And and uh, I've been dedicated to just giving, and, and the whole point of that show was to like say, hey, you can also have a story mm -hmm. in this space. Like the time's now. And uh, anyway, so fast forward to me not having that platform and change and finding the misfits i found myself in discord in the vc 
night after night hanging out with these goofballs and awesome people <laughs> cutting up laughing conversations going from serious to, to chaotic over in a minute um and then one night i was like this needs to be recorded like the conversation was so good i was like yeah so i was like and i i do this i get an idea and i go a million miles and so I've learned how to like stop myself, make a phone call and vet it. And so I called whiskey and I was like, whiskey, hear me out. Tell me if this is stupid. What if we found a way to distill these, these conversations that we're having um, and, and ha make it happen. And she thankfully fell in love with it. And we chatted and realized dragon would just be, Cause he's, he's, he's kind of like Caleb a bit, he's a little quieter, but then just comes out with these punches and you're just like, Oh man, lazy <laughs> or out. Chairs. Um, or chairs, I yeah. love it. I love it. Um, and, and we were just talking the other day, how lucky we got, um, <clears throat> the three of us just work so well together. You do. Um, and it's so fun. And, and I would say like, we've been working on kind of like what we really stand for. Um, and whiskey came up with a really awesome comment the other day. She goes, we filter out the crazy to, to give you the chaotic. And, and we want to capture what it's like to be in an NFT community, what it's like to be in the space. That's why we do such a long segment of just us before bringing on the guest. Um, and then we, we invite someone to come on in the middle of that conversation. And we want to see them exposed. Like, again, it's all about people, just like it was for breaking the ice in DeFi just like it was with all of my other stuff I've tried to do. Like we want you to get an idea of who this person is because yeah. this whole space is people. Mm -hmm. And I've heard Josh say something very similar um, on this, on your podcast. Um, but so chaotic exposure is meant to be this really, really vulnerable look into the space and what it kind of feels like. Um, you know, and my sister, I didn't even know I was doxed in my, out, out in my real world. I'm a, I'm a family pastor and at a church and I have a farm and I have a full-time job. And so sometimes I get worried about like too much <laughs> doxing, but my sister found it and she doesn't hold a single cryptocurrency. Mm. Um, and so she's been getting exposed to these different concepts and that's super fun for me. Um, but that's so, yeah, we filled out the crazy to give you the chaotic. We want to give you a really good view into what is available to you and then show you people that we, we know that we respect show you who they are. Um, and, and my hope is obviously that that brings value back to their communities um, and also exposes them to new people to bring in their communities too. But so that's, that's the, that's the story. You know, and that's good. And, that's and, a great story. Yeah. And really what's good. so cool that's about that is like, we feel like, you know, Caleb and I are real brothers, but we feel like we found a family here, right. Yeah. With Holly yeah. and Greg and all that stuff. It's just mm -hmm. like this, and you guys are the exact same way. You know, that's how it yeah. comes off. Being able to talk to you guys as a group and as individuals in Discord and things like that, yeah. what you get in that podcast is who you are. Mm -hmm. Like, it's yeah. not a show. And that's what we right. try to do, too. And, and we're so similar to that same thing is people joke all the time that you and Greg are the same person. <laughs> and really, there's a lot of truth to that. There is. Yeah. And that Dragon and Caleb yeah. are the same person. And really, yeah. there's a lot of truth to that. Yeah. And so, and I get compared to Whiskey, but she's way better yeah. looking than I am. So, <laughs> so I have actually a different perspective of who's who. Uh -oh. So oh. I agree that Caleb is a lot like Dragon, mm -hmm. but I feel like Neil is a lot like you, Josh. Oh. And just oh. because Neil is more <laughs> and whiskey, yes, I would say is more like Greg Whoa. with like the sassiness. I really oh feel that God. way. <laughs> oh, see, I feel like Neil is now being... I'm gonna go home and cry on my pillow. <laughs> yeah, but well, the way I look at you both is I feel like Neil is the one that's like, okay, let's get this all together, and that's how I feel like Josh is on our side. Like her and cats. so. <laughs> like herding cats. Herding cats? Who's herding? No, no, like herding. 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 It like, oh, like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like you said, herding cats. I mean, because, like, yeah. keeping yeah. Smacking in, cats in, around. In, in, like, yeah, like herding cats. Yeah, don't let them near your cat. <laughs> no, I, but that's how I kind of see you both, is more of <laughs> the sound voice of the group, keeping people in check. 
that now to be fair to be fair if you if you listen to chaotic exposure you've gotten to see my greg my, my um my greg side because i let that fully out <laughs> yeah, yes this is true this is true yes and so to be fair i understand why i get compared to greg but um <laughs> you know something that doesn't always come out in the podcast is that i am a little more on the serious side like i actually yeah. do yeah, so I appreciate that, Holly. I'm that's glad you see, see it. <laughs> that is I do see it. It is. That's what it's all it about. Is. No, but yeah. it's but you you touched on it and uh, about the people part of it and why mm -hmm. our two groups get along so well is without it being forced, we see yeah. eye to eye on a ton of stuff. And I'm not yeah. even talking DeFi stuff or mm -hmm. you know anything yeah. to do with cryptocurrencies yeah. or NFTs. Yeah. I'm talking about real world. It, real yeah, life, life stuff yeah. Yeah. and yeah. that's awesome. we're huge fans i'm so proud of and you guys vice versa man yeah like we're, we're we're just getting started in our on our side and you guys have been going for almost four times as long as us but to see that your success your subscriber count the hours coming up it's just incredible like we are like over on the on the chaotic exposure side mm -hmm. we just could not be happier for how it's going for you guys like I mean, I feel like we're your number one fans in a lot of ways. Like we're just like uh, waving hey, the flag. Vice versa, man. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. If anybody yeah, right yeah. Yeah. asked me yeah. what my favorite thing about the crypto world is, I'd say uh, Misfits Discord channel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is Definitely. very true. Yeah. yeah. I mean, no, yeah. I have been a fan of the Misfits for. I mean, since the beginning, I know I'm not like so much into, you know, the community yeah. I should be, but there's just, I feel like there's so much going on and NFTs are a little bit different for me, right? Like I'm just yeah. kind of not there yet. Um, totally. And I, I mean, I love the art. I think, you know, Chris, for instance, his art is fantastic. Yeah. It's dumb. I mean, and then yeah. the, how he animates his art or, you know, I just, it's, it's really, really awesome. I really love it. But in the real, you know, in the real world, I'm not an art girl. I am not, I don't have a creative bone in my body when it comes to artsy stuff. So when I look at a picture, I only like it because it's pretty, right? Like not who did it, who, I, that part oh. is like what I'm trying to come, you know, to understand a little more. Um, but the misfits, there's just something about them. And I want to say it's, definitely the community and the people behind the misfits that i just am yeah. like they're my favorite and sorry nft projects but misfits are my favorite Hands and down. it yeah. all goes back to the people yeah that's, um that's i align right. the best with the people and i mean that's, neil yeah. you and i go back i mean yeah. <laughs> you know we yeah. were we've been friends for before nfts were even a thing yet yeah totally <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah, yeah no, I just well, you know, it, yeah, it, it, and I, I, I will just. Oh, go no, ahead. You're, no, you guys are good. I was done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what were you gonna Caleb. say, Neil? I, I was just gonna say, you know, like NFTs. There's a big conversation that I, I don't like in the space right now about stopping calling them NFTs and starting calling them digital collectibles. I actually fundamentally disagree with that. That. I understand why they want to do it because they want to like not hinder people from wanting to get involved with them because of the bad news mm -hmm. but a non-fungible token like what you can do with that is far more than anything you do with a cryptocurrency like in terms of its application and use in use right. case it's just like so exciting and yes there's some cool art that gets tied to it but like with the misfits like i'm just a community member there not in connected with them in any way um and all three of us on the show are all community members. So that's, there's a lot of like uh, back and forth there. But like um, the fact that it's such a simple business, they're making a manga, they're going to share revenue and through, through rewards to their holders and also allow them to take part in writing the story. Mm -hmm. I just told you everything you need to know about the Misfit NFT project mm -hmm. right. in thirty in under thirty seconds, yeah. 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 and 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 it's real and it, it's so awesome. And like with Chris, he's got the fashion brand that's tied to his NFT project, um, the real world fashion brand that's being developed. He's, we got it. I can't talk about what they're doing there, but it's massive and has the potential to be very big. Um, but that's because of an NFT project. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. NFTs have so much potential for them a non-fungible token can be ownership 
it can be so many things and um yeah just to yeah. just to pitch that to you yeah i feel like chris's artwork would go great on a skateboard <laughs> like oh. every, i know it sounds yeah. so no. weird but every time i see his art that's i'm like that would be a bad <laughs> awesome. That would be an yeah. awesome skateboard. A badass skateboard. Yeah, badass yeah. Skateboard. Yeah. No, no. Nice edit, Holly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah, I know what you're saying. It has that look. Yeah. I know exactly yeah. what you mean. I was kind of thinking like a, a guy on a skateboard doing graffiti, mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. I did. I don't know why, but that's the first thing every time I see his art, somebody posting it, I'm like, oh wow, that would be cool on a skateboard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, Mm -hmm. And then his name being Chris Bond, I, it just sounds so Stupid. like, yeah yeah. 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 No, well, you know, on that note, and and we'll, we'll start to wrap this portion of the interview up here. But on that note, we wish you guys the most success in everything that you do. I think you guys know that. Um, yeah. We interviewed Whiskey. That's how I got introduced to the Misfit mm -hmm. Project. Um, went on Discord fell in love with all the community members and really has never left. And that was three months ago, maybe four months. I don't remember when it was. We like exactly. you guys there, man. Yeah. I will say though, I was a little scared. I felt like famous people came in our Discord and I didn't want to ask people. <laughs> you guys have told me that before. I'm like, who? Who else came? Like, I don't know. Yeah. But I do have to ask you one more question, Neil, that um, is actually something that We've talked about a lot, um, all four of us, and I think you might be the guy to be able to answer this question. Um, oh boy. And you can put it in however word, many words that you want, but I just have to know, Stop. we all have to know, Neil, um, why are you the way that you are? Oh my God. <laughs> Every time I try to do something fun, you make it not that way. See how that feels I though. They <laughs> turn that thing around yeah. just like we did. You did yeah, on Holly yeah. on Tuesday. So right. Yeah, yeah. I saw it coming. I knew, you did. Yeah. I knew you did. But I had, I had to do it, man. I had to do it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, no, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't have an answer. I definitely incite violence. It feels like. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> Greg too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he was just minding his own business. Got crushed with a chair. You know, it just happened. It's either, either <laughs> yeah. violence or happiness. One of the, it's one extremer than that the next. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, we appreciate you coming on and uh, talking all things and and like we mentioned earlier in the podcast, we're still we'll film the other segments, but those will come out separate. So. Um, stay tuned for those because uh, we've got some really good questions in Caleb's Choice for Neil, and I can't wait for that. And uh, oh I don't know where Holly went. Yeah, she just but... went back. <laughs> there oh. she is. I'm sorry, my dog like decided she wanted to go visit the neighbors, so oh. I had to oh. run outside. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. But we will uh, we'll wrap this thing up. And Neil, we wait, really I have appreciate you. For yes. Neil. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry. I like had to take an intermission to get my dog. Um, so community wants to know. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is. Mm. Hold on. Let me uh, find it. Where did the you go? That's These are good ones, though. I'm excited about them. Um, do you? So you know, when we ask you questions, you have to answer honestly right yeah uh -oh. so, yeah do you have a crush on benji of course i do benji's the cutest dude in this entire space really i love benji so much i do too i call him benj i yeah. he's like I, the funniest guy and he's nothing first. yes uh and i'll um, say i'll say this he's gonna be doing a wednesday night space for defy elitism starting next week I saw oh, that and I'm yeah. really excited about that. Love him. I'm really yeah. excited because he, he is a good guy. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we're gonna have to have him. Um, we're gonna have to support him on yeah. that space definitely because he, he is a great person. But That's... he he did actually ask that question. Yeah. <laughs> um, another thing I wanted to bring up. So I may. Oh boy. Have watched The Office stress relief. Yes. Oh, yes, and I may be a fan. I yes. was done. Yeah. Like, done it hurt, you guys. Oh. I 
I mean crying That's, laughing. Yeah. I just, but I can tell you, I still was like, what is happening on here? <laughs> Who does this, right? Like it is so crazy and everything's going on at the same time and it's chaos. And so, but I was dying laughing. Dying. So now you understand though, like I had to watch the show all the way through and focus on one character at a time. Yes. Because I had because I wanted to capture everything. Yeah. Now I, I will share. I will share. Like let, let me explain a little bit of my love here. Like, so I got a virus that shut my heart, lung, lungs, liver, and kidneys all down. And I thought and I and I almost didn't recover. I was very I'm very lucky to be alive. Wow. Um my immune yeah. system went to crap. I was pushing it. I was work sleeping four hours a night, working 100 plus week, hours a week, my kids, everything. And I just went too hard. Um, but I'm fine now. But when I was coming out of a coma and I had muscle atrophy, I went through a lot of mental health issues. Mm -hmm. And I literally watched all nine seasons of The Office every two weeks for like six months. Wow. Wow. Jeez. It, that many times. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow. it's a lot. Yeah. Um, and so like they are my wife calls them my best friends yeah they like office helped me get through so ah. much um <laughs> i love that show and so like i'm convinced everybody would love the show if they gave it a shot and the first season even the second season is tough the first time through but you get to some of these moments and yeah. some of these build-ups you fall in love with the characters I'm telling you holly it's a great show i you know i just <laughs> I, I still I'm like thinking back at different parts of that, the few episodes that I watch, yeah. and you guys I just why they're crazy like yeah. they're all so out there and I'm like this can't I mean this wouldn't really happen in an office space like <laughs> no but it's like but the, it's so like the weird. office space but since it's on TV they just crank the volume all the way up, yes. you know? yes. so everything's happening at once where some of those stories would never happen in an office, but it it's would take no. several <laughs> years for like things to happen that happen in the same episode, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah totally. Yeah. But it, yeah. Yeah. So it's a great show. That was a good recommendation to get people <laughs> on board is that those two episodes. Uh, you yeah. should watch I, Scott's Tots next. It's called oh, Scott, yeah. Scott's Tots. Yeah. Oh, um, that's going to make you uncomfortable though, Holly. I promise. I, but I, can I tell you something about the episode <laughs> before you watch it? Yeah. I fundamentally relate with Michael in that situation. I completely I relate to how he got there. Like, yep. like I, I just my heart dies because I could <laughs> I could totally be in the same situation just as easily. I yeah. know exactly how it happened. I'm gonna um, have <laughs> Scott's tots yep. is yeah. all right. That's the next oh, one yep. on the list. Yeah. Oh my, I'm gonna have to watch that one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, for sure. man. It, it, it is good, and we and that's just another thing that we all have in common. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. It, that's why the conversations are sometimes endless on Discord until somebody <laughs> just like has to go to bed. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Like, yeah, I have to. Holly, did you have any more questions for Neil? <laughs> okay. Those were the only ones. <laughs> well, guys, we appreciate you tuning in, and we hope you have a great weekend. And God bless. Yeah. Be kind. Be kind. <laughs>